my beauties welcome back to my channel so today I have a very colorful eye look for you guys that is perfect for the springtime lots of you have been asking me to do more colorful looks and somebody did request for me to do a sunset eye look and I actually just went on Google and Googled sunset just to look at the colors and the beautiful you know looks and everything and I came across this picture I hope that you guys can see it but the colors right away called my name and I was like oh my god this looks so pretty so I wanted to do something with purple which is why I did the wing liner and a little bit of peach and pink so this is what I came up with I really hope you guys liked it and if you do and you want to know how to do this makeup then just keep on watching so, I'm going to start out with my eyes using this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer um, in the color Eden. And I'm going to be applying it all over my entire lid. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Sigma P84 brush. Now I'm going to take Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. By the way, all eyeshadows are going to be from Makeup Geek. <laughs> but I'm going to take this one called um, Peachless. No, Peach Smoothie. What the heck am I saying? Peach Smoothie. And I'm going to be applying it all over my entire uh, lid with the Sigma E55 brush. Now for my crease, I'm going to be adding uh, Creme Brulee. Oh my god, you guys, this is a brand new eyeshadow. I actually accidentally put my nail in there, but it's a new one, and oh my god, it looks so pretty. But this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And yeah, I like to apply this as my crease, my transition color. So I'm going to be using that as my transition color. And I'm going to be blending it out with the Morphe AC53. 53? No, 58 brush. Then I'm going to take a dual chrome eyeshadow. Now this one is called Mai Tai and it's so gorgeous. It's like pink and peach at the same time. So it's super, super gorgeous, mostly in person. I know the camera sometimes doesn't pick up like how beautiful these shades are. But I'm going to be applying this all over my entire lid. And I'm going to be applying it with the short shader brush from Sigma, the E20. Now I'm going to take um, Petal Pusher from Makeup Geek as well. This is one of their new matte shades. Uh, I'm going to be applying this on my crease. Kind of do it almost as if it was like a cut crease, but it's going to be really, really super soft. So you don't want to go like all dramatic or anything. You could go super soft with this. And I'm going to actually use the E30 from Sigma to achieve this. Now to start going a little bit, a little tiny bit darker, I'm going to be taking this one, which is called Simply Marlena. And with the same brush, just basically applying it right on top of Petal Pusher. Now taking a clean E25 blending brush, we're going to be blending out our crease. Next, I'm going to take this ColourPop eyeliner. This one is in the color Crybaby, which is a beautiful, like, pastel purple. So I'm going to be using this to do my winged liner. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and apply a few coats to my lashes. And then I'm going to go in there with my Cutie Beauty Lashes in the style Farrah. So now what I'm actually going to do is mix a little bit of the uh, Yaz Lip Paint from Tarte. And I'm grabbing Sigma's Endorse Liquid Eyeliner, which is a white one. And I'm going to be mixing these two things together. And I'm going to be redoing my wing liner color because I'm not really too happy with it. It looks more white than anything, which is not what I was trying to go for. I was trying to go for a pastel, like purpley um eyeliner and it actually came out to what i really wanted like that purple shade all right so now that we have finally our lashes on now we can move on to our face so i'm going to be um using clinique's primer now i know in my last video it was sponsored by clinique but i promised you i was the one that got to choose the items so this primer since it said that it's all made for all skin types I thought it would be perfect and I actually really really loved it like it really hydrates your skin it makes it so smooth and everything so I actually really ended up loving it that you know I'm gonna go ahead and use it again and then the other product that you guys were really curious for me to let you guys know what my opinion was on the foundation is that I actually really loved it it gives me like a super luminous finish which I don't really mind as long as I look like luminous instead of oily 
I'm, I'm okay with that. And this foundation actually does that. Um, it gives me like a beautiful luminous finish you guys are going to see right now. But um, overall, it gives me like a flawless finish. Like you could build this up to a full coverage. It actually is like a medium to full coverage because it covers up like everything. Like I'm telling you everything. So I actually really like that. And as well that it's super easy to blend. And as well, it feels super, super light on the skin. It doesn't even feel caked up or anything. So that's why I really, really loved it. Um, and you guys can check out the reviews. Like I'm telling you, people really love this foundation, which is the reason why I wanted to try it out and I chose this one. So yeah, I'm in the shade Nude Beige. And I'm going to be applying this with a brush. And the brush I'm going to use is the Morphe E6 brush. Right. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit of color correcting. So I'm going to be taking the Becca Color correcting concealers. I'm going to be using Papaya right underneath my eyes to hide the under eye circles and then this one, Papaya uh, Pistachio, I mean, to hide a little bit of the bruising still. And I'm just going to take my finger to blend it out. So I'm going to be blending it out with the Morphe E20 brush. Alright, now to set everything, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to be blending it out with this Morphe G8 brush, which is a huge brush, but you know what? It does the job real quick. <laughs> Now moving on to bronzing, I'm first going to take my Sigma F23 angled brush and I'm going to be using my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer to bronze up my face. Now I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm going to of course take this middle shade to contour and I'm going to be contouring with the Morphe E50 brush. Now for my nose, it's a little bit different because I'm going to be using a smaller brush and it's the Morphe E47 to contour my nose. And then to blend it, I'm going to be using the Morphe M517 brush. Alrighty, now we're going to be doing a little bit of baking right underneath our contour, that way it could look sharp. So I'm going to be using the Morphe E55 brush just to make that sharp line. For the eyes, I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to take Creme Brulee and apply it right underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take my other pencil brush and with the color Marlena or simply Marlena, I'm going to be applying this right on top of Creme Brulee. Then I'm going to finish off the look with a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. Now we're going to remove that powder that we applied. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using Gerard Cosmetics in the color Merlin. Now, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first. And I'm first going to be using um, this lip liner by MAC called Subculture. And then I'm going to go over it on top with a lip cream from Joy Cosmetics in the color Lich. Alright, so here is the final look. I really hope that you guys liked it and if you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And with that one last, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Mwah.